Are you tired of spending $5 on cold brew? Little did you know, cold brew is easy to make at home for so much cheaper. So basically, all you need is beans. We buy these from Costco. It's like 12 bucks for this gigantic bag of beans. And you want the whole beans. Because you want to go ahead and grind those yourself. So what you're going to want is a scale. We get this one from Amazon. Amazon Basics, link down below. Go ahead and get a container, put it on, tear it out. So basically you want to zero it out. You're gonna want 227 grams of whole coffee beans in here. And that 227 grams of coffee beans is going to get you one gallon of cold drink. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do next is grind your coffee beans to a kind of a rough consistency like this. You don't want it super fine like you would for coffee, but you want it a little bit more coarse. And you could get like a burr grinder or you know some specialized coffee grinder of some sort. We just like to use our blender, it works out fine. it a few times and kind of shake it around to kind of get all the beans in there and chopped up. All right, so now we got a decent coarseness here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is use a nut milk bag. You can find these on Amazon. Again, link down below in the description. So just pour those grounds into that nut milk bag. It will basically put all the grounds in there while it's brewing your cold brew. Next, you're gonna need a more than one gallon container because you're gonna use one gallon of water and you're gonna pour that in, but you're gonna need just a little bit more space. So you want like really like a one and a half gallon or two gallon jug. That's what we're using here. Is so I like to use distilled water because it just you know, it's better than tap water. You don't get any weird flavors. It might be from your tap water. Just dump it in. And you're gonna let that steep for 24 hours. Now, some people tell you to do it just for eight. Some people say 12, but we find if you do it for 24 hours, the flavor evolves a little bit more and you get almost like a chocolatey flavor. I'm sure that probably depends on what type of coffee you're using, but that's uh, you know the, the best result that we've found is 24 hours. You wanna kinda of move it around a little bit and then you're just gonna put a lid on it. You wanna keep it out of direct sunlight while this is brewing. Just let it sit on the cabinet and uh, leave it for 24 hours. We'll come back, we'll bottle it up and show you the final result. All right, so it's been 24 hours. The coffee's been steeping this entire time, just sitting on the counter. Again, not in direct sunlight. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it out and finish this up. You wanna get yourself some, some sort of container to go in. It's gonna need to be at least, a, I mean, you can get a gallon container of some sort. We like to use these because they fit in the refrigerator nice. Um, you can find these on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. All right, so you're gonna take your, your nut milk bag filled with your coffee grounds. Sort of move it around. You're gonna bring it out. Now you don't wanna like squeeze it out too hard, but you kinda wanna squeeze it out a little bit to get some of the excess. Another thing you can do 30 minutes or an hour before you're, uh, before you're gonna pull it out if you have some sort of scenario that will work. Sometimes I'll just hang it off our cabinets like that so it'll kind of naturally drain itself out. You wanna go ahead and Drain it out. Get as much of that goodness as you can out of there. And I just like to save our coffee grounds and throw them in our garden. I'm gonna kind of give it a quick stir. You are gonna have a little bit of coffee grounds in this. If you want to do some sort of filtering process, you can, but I don't think it's necessary. So you can either use a, you can, you can use the little spigot here, or we could just pour it in either way. Works. So you're just gonna fill up your your jars, and you got some great 
homemade, not super expensive, cold brew. So that's it. That's simple. You can save some money, make it yourself. Thanks for watching.